day everyone. Just going to feed the fish up in the fish room. Going to give them their treat today, their blood worms that they love. The blood worm comes frozen from the pet shop. There we go, it comes wrapped in newspaper. That's it there. There we go, that's just over half. Wrap it back up, pop it in the freezer, and I'll go and give this to them. I've got the blood worm here, and I'm going to start with the big tank. This is my tank with African cichlids. I've got electric, well it's got a couple of colonies in here. It's a colony of electric yellows. There's also a colony of six bar frontosias. And then I've got bristle nose and a pleco to help clean up the bottom of the tank. Next I've got the flower horn tank. These guys are real pigs, they always eat heaps. They're starting to come on really well now. I grew these guys from Fry. Originally they were only about that big. And now they're coming on really well. They're about six, seven months old. Pop in some bloodworm for them. Down here I've got the two albino adults, convicts that is. That's my breeding pair of albino convicts down there. Alright, nearly halfway. This is another big tank with three Oscars, two really big barley sharks. The barley sharks in here are about 11 inches long now. And what else we got in here? A feather fin catfish and an albino pleco. These guys will be hanging out for some blood worms. When we first bought Bruce, she came with that name. They actually thought she was a male. Once I got her, I bent sexed her, and it turns out she's a female. So we've got Bruce the girl. Here you go, Bruce.
can't have we can't have any other fish in with Bruce. She'll just kill them, and that happens with Oscars if you leave them by themselves for too long. She grew up in a tank by herself, um, so she's really protective of her little space, her territory. And if we put anything else with her, she'll just kill it. This is all those albino convict fry, all the little babies. We put a video up last week when I took the adults out. So it's just the babies by themselves now. And they're so cute. Look how tiny they are. They normally just get this tiny little baby food here. I normally just give them that because it's such a fine little powder. And I'll put some of that in first. Those little fellas are only four weeks old. Four weeks since they hatched out of their eggs. In this tank we've got Big Sev, our golden Severum. He's a beautiful fish. Then we've got two convicts in there, one's an albino, got three Jack Dempsey, there's a little green terror in there, and I think that's it. Uh, bristle nose. Oh, a couple of little bristle nose suckers. Something's wrong in there, 18 degrees. Here you go, Sev. last I'm just going to tip the last of this stuff I've got on the plate here in with the goldfish most people when you think of um, feeding bloodworms they don't think of the goldfish because goldfish typically just get fed flakes and that sort of stuff but the goldfish actually really love the bloodworms. And then I'll give them some flakes too. Thanks for joining me in the fish room today while I gave them their treat. They love their bloodworms. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up for us. Hit the bell if you want notifications if you want to see more from the Simple Joys. And thanks again to all our wonderful subscribers and all the awesome support you give us. Thank you very much and we'll catch you next time. Bye.